Um, we all had to start wrestling with the fact that maybe our children's cancers could have been avoided. And maybe other children were in danger. Maybe our government hadn't protected us the way that they should have. And this has been hushed up so well. Um, most moms I talked to had no idea that they were living within miles of a nuclear meltdown. It was a nuclear accident in the mountains west of Chatsworth, but the public has never been given details till now. The government says the site was not toxic. Boeing spokesperson Blake Jameson told us decades of extensive sampling have shown there is no evidence of contamination. Oh, there was nothing to worry about. You know, you get more radiation if you flew to Denver. Radioactive gases leaked over Los Angeles and a government cover-up. The iodine and strontium are very dangerous because the iodine goes to the thyroid glands of young children causing thyroid cancer, and the uh, strontium goes to the bones of growing children causing leukemia. A group of mothers believes the area is linked to serious illnesses with their children. For the past two years, Melissa Bumstead has been adding children diagnosed with rare cancers to this map. The West Hills mom of two believes the map shows a cancer cluster around the old Santa Susana Field Laboratory in Simi Valley. Bumstead's daughter Grace was diagnosed with an extremely rare form of leukemia in 2014. Open it up. Open it up. There you go. Take Watch your fingers. To be. Take one. Take one. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I see the future. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> My daughter Grace Ellen had just turned four years old when we found out that she had an incredibly rare and aggressive form of childhood leukemia. We lived uh, over 100 days that first year at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, and as we were meeting families, we just casually asked, Oh, where are you from? And one family said, oh, I, I know you from the park. I recognize you. And I said, that's, that's impossible. Childhood cancer, there's only 15,000 new cases out of 72 million children in America. There's no chance that you go to my park. You are very disgusting. You should take a bath. And I kept meeting other families. And they'd say, oh, how about that? We just live you know, around the corner, two blocks over. As the bird flies, three miles, five miles. Yeah. In my mind, I just kept saying, it just doesn't seem right. I just kept pushing back against my own mental red flags until I met a family that said, oh, we live on your street. And she said, and my neighbor had the same exact eye brain cancer that my son had. And I looked up the type of cancer they have. There's only 25 cases in all of America each year. And there were two of them, neighbors, plus my daughter, that's three on the same street. So I panicked, and it was about a year after that that someone mentioned for the first time the Santa Susana Field Lab. I'd never heard of it. We'd already lived here for seven years, and I was not aware that there had been a gigantic nuclear meltdown only five miles from where my house is. Seems to be a series of, of broken promise after broken promise. 2010, the Department of Energy said the cleanup would be done by 2017. It's now 2018. They anticipate cleanup to be done by 2034. That's outrageous. That's unacceptable. There's no money that can fix the damage that's been done to my daughter anyhow. We can't get her childhood back for her. We would rather have other families safe. And if we don't do something big, we'll lose permanently and we will never be safe. So we started a change.org petition. We're up against Boeing. It's an incredibly powerful corporation. They have uh, conducted their own studies with their own firms that they've hired, um, many of whom have questionable ties. State EPA and the former chief lawyer of the DTSC have all switched sides and worked on behalf of Boeing to kill a full cleanup of Santa Susana. But through the change.org petition, we started to get traction and people started to care and I realized we weren't alone in this fight. I think it was a wake up call because a lot of people didn't realize what they were living around. How many more children have to get sick? How many more adults? It's not just children. You know, we teach our kids, make a mess, you clean it up. So if you make a mess, clean it up. You do the right thing. It's, how can you not do the right thing? When I am weary and frustrated, I go to Facebook, I'll see one of Melissa's posts, and I'll, I'll know we can't, we can't ever quit. I just say, you know, actually go out there and meet the families who are affected by this. 
understand that this, these are real people and these are their lives that are being affected. So this one's from, it's one of my friends who passed away. Um, he was diagnosed with cancer and uh, this one's from my diagnosis. I'm playing in the hospital and I'm, I'm sitting down with my shirt. And a, and a button taking blood. Taking shots and it didn't hurt. I'm not going to stop to the best of my ability um, because I want to be able to look my daughter in the eye and let her know that she's worth, um, she's worth being safe and she's worth the fight. Yeah. How about we go to Disneyland? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Are you gonna come too? I'm coming too. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this can be like Lena. Oh, cool. Good idea. Having courage and not stopping, even when things are really hard. That's what I think of courageous is.